Hi friends, today I will be described about the chromosomal workings. What is the mean of chromosomal workings? And uh, why is it called chromosomal workings? Okay. So, chromosomal working is a technique to know, to identify large region of the chromosomes, to map large region of the chromosomes. Suppose that there is the length of the chromosomes that contain a small a b that is allele and so on c okay so chromosomal working techniques is used to identify used to clone large whole region of the chromosomes are used to identify or clone a specific region of the chromosome suppose that you want to clone these regions you can use chromosomal workings you will use chromosomal workings and uh, if you want to also subclone this end and uh, restriction mapping of large region of the chromosomes restriction mapping that is where specific restriction endonucleus site is found in these regions we can map the chromosomes by the chromosomal workings how this process will be completed what techniques, what rules, what manners we required. Okay. So, first thing is that in the chromosomal working, isolate the DNA sequences from the cells, either plant or uh, animals. Okay. Isolate this large region of the chromosomes and we should need to know a marker. What is marker? Marker is a known sequences. We should need to know sequences of this chromosomes so required if there is this sequence is known suppose that we are talking about this sequence is known that is known as marker that is known as marker why say marker because the sequence is known so we can prepare probe from here or if there is not known region suppose that there is a region that is known that is known but this region is not known in that cases okay and we want to subclone that part okay so how we use the methods to subclone this part then this sequence is known either not known then we use partial digestion what is partial digestion? Partial digestion is a technique that we use so concentration of the restriction and nucleus that's only cut in one region of the these fragments. If the sequence is known, not known, then we cannot use partial digestion because sequence is not known. So we cannot design uh, restriction sites. So it is necessary to know any part of the sequence should be known to use marker okay so suppose that this is the known sequences so this is the signature sequences for the chromosomal markings why because if the sequence is known we will cut if sequence is known we can know the restriction sites so cut these fragments okay and uh, there is i also want to introduce you that there is a sanger sequencing methods i have described before this lectures if you do not know about the sanger sequencing method then go back to the another lectures to know the sanger sequencing methods sanger sequencing methods only sequence 700 to 800 base pairs in single times okay so this is the drawbacks it cannot sequence more than 800 base pairs so this is suppose that this is 90 kb length of the dna sequences kilo basis length of the dna sequences so we cannot use these techniques or single sequencing method to uh, amplify or to sequence this all parts okay so require part different parts so use chromosomal workings uh, suppose that this sequence is known okay uh, then subclone digest with a uh, different restriction endonucleases okay suppose that this is the sequence is known then 
sub clone into the casmid vectors casmid vectors this vectors have ability to carry 40 kb gene of interest okay 40 kb gene of interest casmid uh, this is another topics so if you want to know the casmid uh, vectors then this is another topic then this fragment is cloned sub cloned into the casmid library and sequenced and sequenced sequence after sequencing sorry this is a casmid library is transferred and sequenced and this is a plates in which there is many casmid library in some libraries the dna sequences cannot be transferred or in another uh, casmid library dna sequences can be transferred to identify which uh, casmid library or which vectors have our gene of interest okay so this is used as probe okay two sequences is found within this uh, then we take uh, the sequences and design primer and design primer okay from here the primer will bind to that specific regions then synthesize till here okay synthesize till here what will be happens in the next time then this will use to restriction mapping why because if you know the restriction sites then we can use restriction in the nucleus to cut this large at the another end this sequence to cut in specific sequences then require restriction mapping when restriction mapping the sequence is known easily we can map the specific sites of the restriction endonuclease within the these DNA sequences then restriction mapping and again you know that when this sequence is known then the single sequence only amplify 800 base pair or 700 base pairs then this sequence is cut into that till here by the partial digestion i have described about the partial digestion so, okay so this part is known then the primer is designed and also this is uh, part or the segments is cloned into the casmid library and so, this technique is used to identify these sequences okay these techniques used to apply for identification of that part okay after designing these primers synthesis will take place and then sequence this part then again designs primer for that region okay primer for that regions and by partial digestion synthesis takes place till here okay synthesis takes place till here then by partial digestion uh, we design probe or primer and synthesize till here the c parts and again by this way we can map all part of the chromosomes or we can subclone okay this technique require cloning and subcloning when the this part is cloned then the probe specific probe of that sequences is sub cloned this part is sub cloned why because to probing to probing and to know the another end to binding to the another end for prepare probes so this is called sub cloning cloning of cloning is called sub cloning where the this uh, fragment is cloned and when the sequence of this fragment takes place completed then this fragment is identified and after identification this is another end okay so this is another end that is suppose that's a and this is the b okay so this end is required to prepare probe point out this end this end is required to forward direction to prepare probe so this part is sub cloned this part is sub cloned and design primers so synthesis will take place in the forward directions by the partial digestion of the all fragments suppose that why say this is called chromosomal walking 
one steps in single times takes place one steps and preparing probes and to the next and to the next and to the next by walking through the chromosomes that is called chromosomal walkings if we identify we want to subclone these parts that is the mutated region suppose that this is the mutated regions of the chromosomes then we can subclone we can subclone or clone okay we can clone or subclone or this part is unknown that what is the sequences or this part is no unknown what is the sequences then by the chromosomal walking we can identify easily okay so this large region of the chromosomes we can identify by the chromosomal walking uh, and using uh, cosmic vectors and nowadays uh, uh, many vectors have been developed that reduces the cost and reduces uh, the labor that is a uh, uh, lambda dash vectors dash seconds and so many vectors is used to reduce the cost this is another topic so hope you have understand about the chromosomal bucket that why we use and uh, what is the process of uh, restriction uh, mapping and uh, to identify a specific region of the chromosomes to clone a specific region of the chromosome by the chromosomal walkings.